Hey guys, welcome back. We've got another uh, model, uh, Model 11 Mixmaster here. This was sent in by Norval, and um, the complaint that he has on this one is that it turns it on and it runs, but has no speed control. So we're going to verify that, which I have no doubt that's the case, but um, we're going to verify it here. <laughs> So as you can tell, I mean it won't even shut off. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna take a look at this and see what we can find out. The issue is gonna be back here, no doubt. Alright, so I think the first thing we're going to check is the capacity here. So I guess you guys a shot of the screen here. Alright. What we don't want to see is this. Is it a clear on it? That's what we don't want to see. A dead short on here. And as you can see, that's the issue. So without the capacitor, if we plug this back in, we should have speed control back. Do. So that's the issue with this one is a capacitor. So we're going to replace that. And I think we're doing a whole service on this machine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to disassemble this and get everything cleaned up. Replace anything else that needs to be replaced while we're at it. Let's test out our resistor here as well. I just want to get some bare metal showing here so we have a good contact point. And you guys see that? So yeah, you guys can see the screen down there. Alright, let's see if our resistor is any good here. Alright, when it's jumping around like that, it's mostly because of this corrosion that's on here. I just got to get a good contact on this. Alright, let me clean this up a little bit better. I thought I had enough bare metal showing there, but... Obviously not. Let's try this again. All right. I'm still not sure why is it. Why am I getting a funky reading on here? Um, 
Alright, so there's a number there. So, resistor's no good. So I'm going to have to do something about that as well. So i got to replace the capacitor. The resistor. Uh, let's check our brushes on here. Let's see how our brushes look. Alright, fortunately the brushes look really good on here. So let's just go through and uh, do some disassembly on here and make sure you guys can see in here. Um, we'll do some disassembly and get some stuff cleaned up and get new grease in it and obviously a new cord too. This cord looks pretty bad. So and I apologize for if I sound a little blah on the video or in the last couple videos. Uh, I've been fighting a sleeping issue more like lack of sleep it's uh i don't know what it is i just have a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep and when i do sleep it's like i hear every little noise so and normally i'm a sound sleeper i mean i don't even hear an alarm clock so i don't know what's been going on with that but i'm hoping to kick that here soon Start taking some of these parts off that we got to clean up. And it does sound like, um, you know, the speed control is working fine, so I don't think there's any issues with that. I'll probably just need a good cleaning. Get all this flour build up off of it here. Alright, we just about got the speed control off here. You guys are wondering what's what's moving up here. Uh, it's, I got my YouTube on my phone up there. It's um, Drag Week, and Motor Trend has got a live stream of, of Drag Week going on today. Happens to be day three where they are in, in Charlotte at the Z Max uh, Dragway. So I'm just uh, checking out the drag racing while I'm working. Tomorrow's day four. They're going to be in Bristol. Bristol, Tennessee there. This is, uh, if you don't know what Drag Week is, um, it's basically drag race run at, you know, uh, there's a series of tracks and you have to drive your car from uh, one track to the other. So it's interesting that they make a lot of these, you know, race cars have to drive on the street. They got to be legal enough to drive on the street and uh, they got to take all their supplies and everything with them and drive from event to event but back on this mixer here now I'm going to take the badge off the front and get our front our front um, assembly off here and this badge seems to really want to not leave its place here here we go Actually, that was not too bad bigger screwdriver here now. I gotta turn this at a different angle. Man, it's 
Sometimes these screws in the front, man, really stick. There we go. Wow, that one was on there. There we go. Let's get our springs out. Yeah, that looks pretty clean under there. Alright, we'll get our ejector assembly off here. I'll have to clean that up a little bit, but actually it looks nice and clean under here. Get our gearbox cover off and take a look at our grease in here too. I think I'll stop dropping screws everywhere. See, grease is just wanting to fall right out of there. That looks like a pretty thick gob of grease. No, actually, it's not too, too bad. Definitely seen worse. Yeah, this isn't too, too bad. There's grease in here. Alright. Set something up where I can put greasy parts on here. Because we're going to have a few, like that. That's good enough for cleaning grease out for now. We'll be able to wash all the rest out of it later. Um, so we're going to turn the machine around and start working on the back again. One thing I noticed I don't see, and I don't think it came out with the grease. It's a little, oh yeah, it did. There it is. I need a little plastic. Uh, Thrust pin that goes against here and it's held in place or held pressures held against it with that long skinny spring we took out. We're gonna need that. Can't run without it. Well, you can, but they won't run good and they'll make a lot of noise. All right. So now we've got everything all set. Hopefully this will pop right out of here. There we go. All right, we're going to take this off, get that all cleaned out, check our little metal piece back in there, which at first glance looks good. And yeah, this could turn a little bit easier, so there's probably a little bit of drag up there. The armature looks good, just as good as the brush is. We'll just have to polish that up, and that'll be good to go. And there's quite a bit of flour up in here as well. And you know that's a case. And to make it easier to clean the grease out of it, good. I'm going to pull this coil out of here. So for now I just want to make sure I get my vectors off here. There's uh something weird going on in there. I like I turn the light on on here. And we got some light. Alright, that wire shouldn't be way out here like that. Um, I don't know what's going on, but we'll figure it out once we get in here and 
get this coil out. Right now, I take this cover off here. Once again, we've got a date on here. It looks like April 26th, but I can't make out the rest right here. Come on, focus on it. I can't make out what that says because it's, you know, it looks like it's smeared ink on there. But anyways, it, there's definitely a date showing on there. Alright, I've got to cut some of these connections here. And so I found my cutters. Here we go. one disconnected. I'm going to try and get down here to this other one now. here and out the way. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna smack the camera on you guys. There, let's get that out of there. Alright, I want to pull this out and make sure we're disconnected on all of our connections here. Yep. Alright, so we should be able to pull this out of here now. There we go, and I can get pitched. And I'm going to pull the gears out, gears and shafts out. Yeah, these are definitely sticky, so there's definitely quite a bit of drag on this too, so this definitely needed to be cleaned up in here. shaft out of there. That's going to have to get clean up, polished up. Let's get our gear out of here. And this one is really, really bound up here. I get that sticky broken down grease residue on there and uh, it's, it's thick. It's like glue. this shaft out. This one is going to be considerably harder. Oh, there we go. Right, the gear itself is even stuck in there. Alright, so we're going to do some heavy degreasing on this, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through, I'm going to get the coil out of here, I'm going to get everything degreased, cleaned up, and uh, all these parts here cleaned up, and then we'll come back and we'll get everything put back together. Alright, so we've got this one all wrapped up, uh, replaced the capacitor in it, 
uh, rebuilt the resistor in it since the resistor was bad, and we know the capacitor was bad just uh, <coughs> from from testing we did. It's got a dead short inside, and uh, also you can tell from the way it runs, and um, we verified that by testing the capacitor and also running it without the capacitor, and we see we had our speed control back, so um, that solves that problem there. Uh, and everything was taken apart, cleaned up really good, polished up the armature, uh, new grease inside, oiled everything and everything is good to go. We've got it adjusted, so we're going to go ahead now and turn it on and uh, give it a listen to. Alright, so as you can tell, it, it runs really well, it runs to all the speeds really good, and um, it sounds nice and smooth, so uh, we're going to get this one wrapped up and get ready to get back to uh, normal, and this is, uh, be able to be put right back into use. So if, you, so if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below, I'll get to those as soon as I can, and as always, thanks for watching, we will see you on the next one.